when you're doing computational neuroscience and if you want to talk about the area that you're researching. I'm most captivated by uh, the problem of representation. So representation is sort of asking the question about, um, you know, if I have things out there in the external world, you're not actually experiencing, let's say, 3D objects. You know, you are taking these impoverished measurements from the world through like light bouncing off of them and hitting your eye or sounds that you hear. Uh, and somehow we have to take all these different sometimes conflicting signals and try and make sense of what's out there. Somehow you have neurons like wet bags in your head that are connected together in such a way that you can actually store and represent entities in the world and manipulate them in your head in a way that's consistent with the world. And I don't think we have any theory that yeah. really explains how that's achieved, even, even theoretically. So this problem of representation is not just relevant for vision, it's also relevant for people who study motor control. You know, what, what is the mathematical space that we can think about uh, that the brain is using to embed those signals?